Hello viewers and welcome to the final segment of Let's Play Civilization 4 Monarch Student Prime Solomon. In this video, we will be hitting end turn until the UN election comes up. After which I will um promptly declare war on Shaka and nuke him like crazy. That should give me about enough uh enough population to guarantee you win, even if Elizabeth self votes. In fact, I shouldn't really be fortifying these nukes. That's not a good call. So, yeah. Oh, it's only global warming. Okay, here we are. Whoops. Oh, I should have added. Oh well. Yeah, I stationed some more tactical nukes that I constructed. I should have stationed more in this city. Let's get rid of these abstaining votes, shall we? I don't think he even has bomb shelters, I and mean, he's just totally hosed. I know he's got a lot of units in Pakal City. That well, it used to be Pakal City. So, um. I'm actually going to gift a couple to Pakal here, because I can't launch them into that city, because Pakal's borders surround it. And then everywhere else, we'll just uh, pepper it the old-fashioned way. Yeah, see, without the, the uh, bomb shelters, this just goes wild in terms of how much population it destroys. This is what you get for declaring on me, Shaka. I'm gonna take these war bribes. There are love and hate relationships in life, but Shaka's just love to hate. And so on we go. No more Zulu trash bothering me. <sighs> and remember, he would still be f doing fine on his own, viewers. Completely fine on his own. Because he is a vassal, mind you. Otherwise, if he didn't, he might capitulate from this kind of damage. And once again, I emphasize this is not the efficient way to go about things. You would want to do like nukes, paratroopers, or uh, maybe like some sort of naval based strike with air support that moves inland easily because you have a tech lead or something like that normally. This is just working because I have such a huge amount of land and production lead on everybody following the Gandhi War. And it doesn't matter that I'm a little bit behind in tech, really. 
I got to the important one first. <laughs> So yeah, we'll just let Pakal and Izzy fling a couple at Shaka too, and that'll be that. He'll have no pop left to really contend in the UN at all. <laughs> Can't give his vassals a pass. This is what you get for losing to Shaka. Oh, I suppose that's good enough. One more. Does it really have to do this? I mean, I hit and turn, but it has to go through the animation. Oh. It's even going to ignore that I hit and turn. Hooray! <laughs> I went dip low. <laughs> yeah, I'll show this, especially because I missed some videos. Let's speed it up a little though, because I didn't miss any early videos. Yeah, this is a little tricky if you don't know how to out expand the AI without crashing your economy. But no problems here, you saw how. Can't believe Gandhi got rifles like right before I hit him, it's annoying. So you just rush by a bunch of cavalry and there you go. It wasn't easy, but I still tore him a new one. Once Elizabeth didn't have a vassal anymore, she capitulated easily enough. And then it's just nukes. You can't even see that, but... Let's see how many ICBMs and tacticals I was able to build. 111 ICBMs, 79 tacticals. Tacticals are cheaper, they're easier to deal with. Eh, decent score. He won't even talk to me. Well, alright, that's a win, so... That concludes this Let's Play Civilization 4. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time. The Me and Team, signing off.